Crusader Kings 2 is a grand strategy conflict game set in medieval times in Europe and the Middle East. It plays out from 1066 and the Battle of Hastings to 1452 and the fall of Constantinople. And you take on the role of a medieval ruler and his family, and you get married, you have kids, you expand your influence, gain prestige, and you need to keep an eye on all your pesky vassals as well. Crusader Kings 2 is pretty different from our other titles in that most of our games you play a kind of nebulous spirit of the country, whereas in Crusader Kings 2 you take on the role of a particular character. It's all about the characters and their interactions with each other and their plotting against each other and their, you know, backstabbing evil plans. Most of them are pretty heinous characters, which is reflected in the character traits we have in the game. We have interesting traits like club-footed or dwarf, and all these traits will be reflected in their behavior towards other characters in the game. We are adding quite a lot of new features to the game, apart from just improving on the old gameplay of Crusader Kings 1. For example, I can mention that the religious system will be completely redone. Uh, so it's going to be a lot more fun playing with your bishops, the investiture of bishops, your relations with the Pope, the, your relations with the holy orders, the knightly orders like the Knights Templar. We're also going to have mercenary companies that you can interact with that are named and have a leader and their own flag, etc. We're going to have groups like the Victual Brothers and the Company of the White Hats and other Italian condottieri characters. My favorite feature in the game is, without a doubt, the whole succession mechanic. That is to say, who will inherit the throne when your current ruler dies, the character you're playing? Say I have a, a daughter and three sons. Now the daughter is the eldest child, so according to some, maybe she is the rightful heir. So what will happen then when I die is that the daughter will inherit, but the sons might very well start a war over this, which you will have to ride out. The game ends uh, either in 1452, which is the absolute end date of the game, or when your dynasty dies out and you're standing there without a legal heir, or you lose your last piece of land, that is your, your last holding. But in Crusader Kings 2 we want to give the player a nice reward for finishing the game and give you a, a score that you've carried down through each ruler you've played successively. We're going to add a character browser where you can filter out characters and add, click check boxes so you only see Swedish women, if you want to marry a Swedish woman for example, you know, stuff like that. Crusader Kings 2 is a completely unique game in the sense that it has an unprecedented scope of characters, of historicity, and open-endedness in the period it's set in. Medieval times, you have more than 10,000 characters, you have more than a thousand provinces, each with named settlements and baronies, and a, a, such a rich environment to play around with. So it's both open-ended and historical, which sounds like a paradox, but then we are paradox. paradox.